Hello everyone, welcome to Lamina Nails. In this video, I'll be doing a sort of Korean nail inspired look. I'm using Beatles Gel in 895 as the base color for all my nails. So it's all solid black nails. Uh, three of them will just be glossy coated and then I'll have two accent nails. Um, 895 comes in their black and white set, Beatles black and white set. It, to me, is their most opaque. You only need one coat of it, really. But I do two, I do two very thin coats, and each coat goes into that for a full minute. Uh, you could probably get away with 30 seconds since it's Beatles. It does cure pretty well. So that's what we're starting off with. It goes over all nails. I did want to note on my nails, you can see that they're sort of different colors and you can sort of see my natural nail, nail through it. Um, I'm currently growing out my natural nails and when I do that, I don't want to take off what I've built up. Um, so I've done a video on how to reinforce natural nails and basically what I do when I'm trying to grow them out is I don't file them all the way down or soak them or anything because I don't want them to weaken during the growth process. So I just file off what, you know, is coming off. I file off the old color and then I remove what has lifted and then I backfill it with either um, some poly gel or some sort of um, builder in a bottle, you know, just to make sure that, that it's an even nail and then I shape it into the desired shape. And that's what you see here and that's why there's sort of different colors going on. So once that's done and got the two coats and each coat has gone into that for a full minute, we're moving on to the accent nails. I'm using Born Pretty's rhinestone glue. I highly, highly recommend this. I have not lost a single rhinestone or decoration with this um, glue as long as I've had it. It works really well. Uh, I'm going in with everything, I think almost, except for the, the chain I got from Shein. So most of these decorations are sets, this little butterfly and the rose are from uh, a larger set that's on Shein. I will link what I can find in the description box. So basically I'm, I'm just dipping each decoration into that rhinestone glue, placing it on my nail, and then curing it, flash curing it for about 10 seconds to make sure it stays in place. And then when I'm completely done with all the larger decorations, I do put that into the lamp for 30 seconds just to make sure it's really secured. And with this set, since all I'm doing is clear coat to set everything, um, you don't have to set it for a full minute because it's clear, it will cure fast, and um, it, it doesn't you know require a lot of curing time. So I just really mostly flash cure to prevent Oh, like too much UV exposure. That's why I'm using this little handheld light. So here I'm just trying to figure out where I want everything placed. These are Moonstone, I think, rhinestones. They're more of a, a light, not as reflective or like fiery as a regular AB, but I feel like they match silver themed things better because they're not as showy or vibrant and they sort of match this set like the aesthetic I was going for. So I went ahead and used these Moonstone rhinestones. I think they are um, all of one set, the flat back as well as the butterfly heart and teardrop. I'm pretty sure are all part of one set, but it'll be in the um, description box if it's not. So I got that last one in place and then I put it into the lamp so here i'm filling in all the gaps with born pretty's rhinestone glue and this is more for hygienic purposes because you don't want gaps in there you don't want water getting in you don't want dirt you don't want like food or anything getting into those gaps or any dust and it being too difficult to remove so if you fill in all the gaps um, like carefully, you won't have to worry about that. And that's basically what I'm doing here. Then once that's quick cured, once again, like you don't have to cure that completely because it will be cured um, as 
the next layer comes along. So I'm taking Beetle's top coat. You can also just use the nail glue, any top coat you have. But Beetle's top coat is incredibly thick. And I'm using it because it is thick. It'll hold the rhinestones and stuff in place long enough for me to cure it. But also like fully enrobe the, like these pearls, right? So I don't have to worry about top coating them necessarily. So I'm going in with these little pearls as well as some silver beads and some smaller um, crystals flat back in that moonstone style to fill in any gaps. And then I'm just quick curing. It's only like a couple seconds just to make sure that they don't uh, roll around. And then when that's completely done, I do put that into lamp for 30 seconds just to make sure it's completely cured. So you can see I'm just like putting them in any place I can find like a spot or where I feel like it needs something. I just put it in there. If there's like an awkward point or something that you feel like needs something alongside it, this is a good time to put, um, you know, like a bead or a pearl in it. I did fast forward this part a lot because if you saw it in full speed, it's like horrible. It, this video was like 50 minutes long just doing this one nail. So I did fast forward a lot. Those little flat backs are very, very shiny, very pretty, but I will say the AB part of them sort of rubbed off faster than expected on one nail on the thumb on my um, right hand. It rubbed off pretty fast. It's also a good nail because you can always easily backfill it in with like more, um, black or just you know put in some more rhinestones as the nail grows out rather than um you know completely taking off the look or the complete design it it almost like it's a it's an easy grow out one so into the lamp for 30 seconds and um move on to the next step Now with the thumb, um, the the ribbon is still part of that same set that the flower butterfly were from. I turned on the flash so you could sort of see it a little better. Um, but this ribbon is, is part of that same set. And then the chain, I honestly cannot remember where I got it from, but if I can find where I got it from, I will link that in the description box as well. Um, but I, I don't know. So all I do with a chain is like the same thing. I sort of dip it in that, um, nail glue and then just cure it like only the end of it. And then I cure it in place and then I put a little more on and I cure that in place to make sure that it stayed straight because it was very difficult to get to lay straight, um, just in one go. And if you're a person with shaky hands like me, this is the, probably the easiest way to do this. So you can see like each step is just sort of um, like a little bit at a time. Also, uh, make sure to cut it just shy of the edge of your nail. That way um, the, the gel won't rub off of it too fast. It sort of keeps it protected a little longer. And that goes in a lap for 30 seconds. Then I have these lint-free wipes and some um, isopropyl alcohol. And I'm going over all of my nails with it just to make sure... Um, there's no gel when I finish um, doing this. You can see that some of the black came off. That's perfectly normal. Um, but I just want to clean up those rhinestones and everything else. Make sure there's no lint stuck on it. I'm taking that um, Beetle's top coat again. And I'm just putting it on my mat. This is a silicone mat. So it easily um, comes right off when you cure it. Turn on my flash again so you can see this part a little better. It's blurry, but it, it goes back into focus in a second. Um, but I take a little detailed brush and I take that extra thick top coat 
and I go around all the edges, all the, the you know, little decorations. Try not to go over the top of the rhinestones, but I'm basically securing everything in place. And this is what you see a lot in those Korean um, videos, just them going to secure everything in place with a thicker gel. I recommend sort of wrapping around the edges of those rhinestones, like the big ones and the little ones, to make sure that they um, stay in place. So, um, that's what I do here. And then, what, once it's complete, I do put that into the lamp for um, 30 seconds, just to make sure it's set. Although you can put it into the lamp for a full minute. It doesn't really matter um, because I haven't top coated the, the other nails yet. That's why I say 30 seconds. And then I do the same thing with the, um, the thumb. I went all the way around it, applied it like it was top coat over everything, just so I wouldn't have to go back in. And that's the same way with the thumb. Now, with the thumb, I'm showing you something here. There is a gap on both sides of the the bow you will want to fill in the the gap just so you're like you won't get caught in your hair won't get caught on straps or you know when you're doing something it won't snag on it and therefore you won't um like injure yourself so i'm taking that top coat once again it's it's thick so i can build it up pretty fast cure it for about 10 seconds and then build it up more because um it doesn't matter how thick it is necessarily because it'll cure properly as a clear coat so you can see there's less of a gap now and I did it on both sides and I did go over the um, the chain as well to make sure that that was built up and sort of protected so that it wouldn't pop off or anything. And that goes into the lamp for 30 seconds as well. And then over the rest of the nails, I use Madame Clam's glossy top coat. Um, because I wanted something a little glossier, a little high gloss, and Madame Glam is very, very high gloss. Um, and then that whole set goes into the lamp for a full minute. So that's basically the only time besides the black application that you'll need to actually put that into the lamp for a very long duration, which is very good if you're concerned about UV exposure with the lamps. This is a, uh, a pretty good look because you're, you're basically limiting it to just that little hand held um, for 10 seconds, you know, here and there, or 30 seconds in the lamp. And otherwise, like, you're, you're basically staying clear of that full minute to two minutes. And also like Beatles, Beatles doesn't need two minutes. It cures perfectly fine at a minute um, for, for its own gloss coat. So that's the finished look. Make sure to go over the entire ribbon as well if you do use a, a ribbon to make sure that stays in place and um, that the reflex doesn't rub off. I'm going over everything with cuticle oil to make sure that, um, you know, th my cuticles are hydrated. I know sometimes they look extra dry just because I'm using the acetone and my skin's just naturally dry. But that's the look and I hope you all like it. It was like something fun. I just wanted something really like fun to look at and I haven't done nail shaped like this in a while so I thank you so much for watching and um if you could would change the color what color would you change it to um so see you all in the next video I hope this gave you some inspiration and I thank you so much for watching bye bye